In this video, I will demonstrate how to create cinematic AI videos of yourself in different settings from a single selfie shot using Flux Pulit and Luma Dream Machine. We'll maintain facial consistency in the videos, staying true to the original uploaded image. This process is lightning fast and doesn't require training a Flux LoRa model. The video consists of two main sections, each with a deep dive. First, we will explore how to use Flux Pulit for image generation and transport our character back to the 1950s. We'll create retro-looking AI images from a modern iPhone selfie shot. Then I will transition into image to video, showing you Luma Dream Machine version 1.6 new fast model with hyper-fast video generation. This new model from Luma is 10 times faster than initial version 1.6, and it can generate videos under 20 seconds without compromising from the quality. Additional to that, I will test advanced camera motion controls of Luma Dream Machine in this video. By the way, you can use the referral link in the pinned comment for a discount on Luma Dream Machine. Let's get started. First of all, what is Flux Pulit? This model allows you to upload a photo. It takes the face from the image you uploaded, it transfers into the new images you created with your prompts, and it keeps the character face consistent. So all from a single photo, you can simply create new settings, new outfits, new setups without actually training a Flux LoRa model. And it doesn't only transfer the face in a static way, it does it in a dynamic way, meaning you can change the position of body and face. For the example purposes, I will use this model to create a single selfie shot. The model is called Amateur Photography, and it's a Flux LoRa model, and you can find it in the civitai.com. And you can see this model creates really lifelike AI photos. I really like how realistic this looks. So instead of using my own face, I will create one selfie shot using this model. And then we will upload that to Flux Pulit. And then you can just upload it here. For this job, you can also use Instagram Influencer LoRa. It's a Flux LoRa model trained on Instagram images. And it's pretty awesome. A link is in the description below, so you can take a look at it. I like the first model more because it has much more realistic tendencies. So for testing purposes, using Amateur Photography Flux LoRa, I created this image. My prompt was, occasional selfie photo of a confident woman in 25 years old with a short auburn bob hairstyle. Her skin was visible, natural textures, black t-shirt, some tattoos, and a simple background in New York with people enjoying their day off. So I ended up with this shot. And I think Civit AI gives some free credits when you sign up to their platform. So next thing we will do, we will come back to the Flux Pulit on Replicate. And by the way, you can also use Flux Pulit on Hugging Face. Link in the description down below, and you can use it for free. We will come back to Replicate, and we will upload the selfie photo we created using button here. I choose the AI photo I created. Then I scroll down, and I wrote my prompt. I have cinematic photo of a woman with a 1950s hairstyle, wearing an elegant vintage polka dot dress with gold accents. She stands near a TV in a retro futuristic 1950s style living room background, etc, etc. So you can see I also mentioned the film stock, Super Panavision 70. You know these videos are super popular these days with this particular film stock. Then I will set width and height to have 16 to 9 aspect ratio. I'm going for 1280 to 720. You can then set up number of outputs that how many images you want to have. You can add some negative prompts and you can also change output quality. You can max it out if you want. So after running the Flux Pulit, you can see from a single image, I have now these four images in the retro futuristic 1950s style of the same person. So I think similarity is quite strong and of course, it may not be perfect, but considering that we could have these four images of the same person in a different setup, literally in 10 seconds, without training any Flux LoRa, I think it's a big deal. The one thing you will realize is that we lost a little bit of the skin reality and we got a little bit of the airbrush effect in our photos. You can easily solve this using Magnific to have a little bit of additional skin realism and also um, you may want to consider to keep the guidance scale around 2, 2.5, because I observed that once you go beyond 3.5, the skins got much more plastic. Here's another example of the same subject, and this time she's posing in a spaceship. We have the same photo, and 
she looks really comfy sitting in a spaceship. Another shot with a nice backdrop of flying cars, but cars now look much more like actually airplanes, which is fine. I'm, I'm a huge fan of these old cars, and I have also one shot from these 1950s cars with a full body shot this time of the same character. And it gets a little bit more tricky with full body shots because head to body portions are sometimes off and it's a little bit more challenging to make this right. You can see we have different body types appeared for the same image. But this is understandable because this whole model works with a single image of a selfie. Here's another one, black and white shot that I like very much so. And it can be questionable if the portions here are right, but at least face looks close enough. Here's another one. And this looks, I think, quite good. Face looks quite similar. Head is proportional to the rest of the body. Good example. Here's another one with the robot friend. I love this retro futuristic looking robot. This one is a little bit creepy, but look at the similarity. It's a very similar face and it does the job, right? Maybe hair changed a little bit. Then here we had the spot on hair. Here's another example. Here we got some good results. And here's another one. And you can see there is still a little bit of airbrush plastic skin problem. We will be able to fix this using Magnific. Now I will transition into image to video using Luma Dream Machine. They recently released a new fast model and it offers same quality as their current version 1.6, but 10 times faster, meaning your iteration speed will be much, much faster than other tools. And this is critical. I'll show you how to use this and I will also give some prompting tips based on Luma Dream Machine's official prompting guide. In order to use the image to video, you click on the image icon here and you choose an image. I'm going to proceed with this image here. When we look at the official prompting guide for Luma, you need to describe the movement happening in the image. I would like to have the flying saucer behind her flies. It's a very simple sentence and I recommend guys, don't overcomplicate. Just write a simple sentence without adding so many details because if you add way too many details, it will be confusing for the model. As you can see, you can also add an end frame. So you have additional two options here. First one is loop. If you check this option, you will see it will create videos look like this. It's a looping video. So start and end kind of loops together. And second option is enhanced prompt. So if you are a beginner and if you are just starting with image to video or generally with AI tools, I would highly recommend you to check enhanced prompt because then it basically improves your prompt and gives more details to model and it enriches your prompts. I edit my image and I edit my prompt and I'm going to hit generate. And our generation is ready. And it looks fantastic. Generations take approximately 20, maximum 30 seconds. Most of the time it's around 20 seconds and it's really fast. Here's another example. And this time I want to show you how you can control camera in Luma Dream Machine. In order to do that, simply you type camera and then it offers you some camera motion options. You can see they are like similar to Hollywood camera motions. And when you hover over any of the options, you can also see a preview. You can move the camera, you can push in, push out, you can pan and you can orbit, you can crane up, down. For this example, I will use camera pull out. And I wrote the prompt, a UFO is approaching her from behind and I hit generate. Our generation is ready. So as you can see, we have a slow camera pull out effect as well as we have the UFO behind of her. Luma Dream Machine demonstrates a deep understanding of depth and perspective. Here's another example where camera slowly pushes in. The camera motion is extremely smooth. I had quite difficulties with Clink when it was about pulling the camera out, like zoom out. I tried many things and it was always hit or miss. I'm really happy that pull out and push in camera motions work really well with Luma Dream Machine. Here's another example and a little bit more alive. We have camera pushing and I also wrote she has a subtle smile. So subtle smile work really well and it's a really nice clip. Guys, orbit camera in Luma Dream Machine is really fun. And it's a unique camera motion that we don't often see in other AI video tools. And it's super easy, almost effortless to generate this. You just type camera to your prompt, choose orbit left or right and hit generate. And it will create this cinematic looking clip for you. And you can see it excels in coherence and element perseverance. 
maintaining patterns in facial features and environment. It also handles outfits and dresses with intricate textures and patterns beautifully. The AI understands this pattern is part of the fabric, it's not random, and it tracks those details and how they relate to the subject. As a result, everything stays crisp throughout the video. So Runway has also comprehensive camera controls, but I feel it's not really beginner friendly. You really need to know your way in order to achieve what you desire, versus choosing a camera motion from a dropdown is much more simple. It's really user friendly and beginner friendly to use Luma Dream Machine. And Runway has also turbo mode. However, there is slight compromise on the quality in comparison to Gen 3 Alpha. In Luma Dream Machine, the fast model offers you full, uncompromised quality. Also, in comparison to Clink, Luma has hypersonic video production speed because, as you know, Clink AI's waiting times are quite long. Here's another shot where I choose Camera Crane Up from the drop down menu, and it generated this beautiful crane shot. In Clink, every time I wanted to do the crane shot, I had difficulties because it's just never understood what I wanted. And I'm definitely a huge fan of Orbit Camera. It's really cinematic and it looks different than video outputs of other AI tools. We are living in the future, folks. Exciting times. And last thing I want to show you is, is a model for expanding your images for free. So you can normally do this with FreePick or Photoshop AI to generative expand, but they are most of the time paid options. So on Hugging Face, there is this model. It allows you to upload an image and expand it, essentially change its aspect ratio for free. So you upload an image and then you select the aspect ratio you want to have. You can also change the alignment, of course, and you can add a prompt, but it's not necessary. And you hit generate and it expands the image for free and makes it 16 to 9. Very easy to use and super helpful if you don't want to pay for these other tools. And don't forget to check the link down below in the pinned comment. Now, hopefully this video was truly helpful for you to explore Flux Pulit and Luma Dream Machine. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and make sure to subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. See you next time.